Nice. Fat $364,000. Oh, yeah. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Hydraineer. Trying to figure out what I'm trying, what, what am I doing over here? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what I'm doing over here. Ah, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support on the series. Uh, sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, I normally have the worst out. I was uh, sick for the past two or three days. Don't worry, I didn't have the Rona. I know you're concerned. Um, I get allergies like terrible. And then in Pennsylvania, we have from 30 degree weather to 60 degree weather and back down to 40 degree weather and later one does everybody sick so I was just like I'm just gonna take a super bed I couldn't talk I couldn't breathe but it's not something like Rona related where they're like it's the worst thing I've ever had nope 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 I, I felt I felt this pain before it's just I'm all clogged up full of brain batter 500 oh hold on excuse me what happened and I just needed to gank it out sounding all stuffy like a frog but now today we're back in business baby and I can speak and I can move around and get after it today. So what are we doing today, Diesel? That today, Diesel? Well, something I've been meaning to do for quite some time, but haven't really had the wherewithal or care to want to <laughs> try and do it uh, to the tippy top of our uh, talents. But since Blitz, my man, my boy, he uh, put out a little automated system, which is not really an automated system because it's uh, still uh, pumping out stuff. It's not a fully, hold on. It was a lot of like the little Johns, like the little tiny nougats. And it was a pretty well done system to the point where uh, he was getting everything knocked out, dropping everything into a cauldron. Sorry, I'm like loading up all these ranches because we're going to need them today. And he was dropping everything into a cauldron. Oh, I forgot to pay for that one. My bad. My bad, dog. Did, did you get this one? Nice. <laughs> all right. But he's got a little nougats because he had all the uh, the miners on top, on, on the tippy top of, of, of the stuff instead of down below. So what I am doing is I have a whole bunch of miners going right now and one simple grinder, the harvester, the separator, the thing that we need to take all the dirt and break it out. Hold on. But let me show you the problems that I've been running into. Because there are many. Now, of course, we are in early access. Oh, my God. And the, the, the fridge. Watch out. Watch out. The fridge. Oh, we're getting too close. Getting so close. It hates. Uh, all right. Hold on. I'm just going to put you there. And I know I'm going to take you down here. As you can see, I put uh, little wall panels up the conveyor belt system so that all our little nougats don't fall off the side, even though the biggest part about the uh, problem, if you will, about having a conveyor, uh, conveyor belt system or even anything that's like this isn't so much the conveyor belts, it's the clipping. The machines work just fine. The clipping is what kills it. And the pipes that I have going on there, plenty of pressure. Everything's rocking and rolling. Pressure's not the problem. The problem is objects clipping through walls. That's the biggest problem that I'm running into today. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and put this down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, there's lots and lots of different <laughs> dirt mounds that are all over the place because these things just don't know where they want to go at any point at any time in their lives. So check this out. I have a double wide. I was trying to do a single wide and we had a, a barrier going along this one wall down the center. But the thing is that these big things these dirt modules, when they start clumping up, they get all, all big and sad. And then once they get super wide, they get super fat, they don't fit anymore when it comes to one row. So I have two conveyor belt systems. Both of these are running off the same system, but then I have one belt that's going opposite way, and that's coming off of a separate line into there. So we have one assembler to rule them all. And hopefully we get some big nougats out of that. We have been getting a, a variety of sorts. Now, as I was saying, the clipping was the worst part. So these guys, they'll pump out these little nougats, these little, these little dirt balls right here, balls. So they would go all the way down to the end and then right as it's about to go and shoot into here, which you would think like, okay, so it's going down the conveyor belt. It actually just clips right into the center, right into the middle of this, and then builds up these giant dirt mounds underneath it, underneath this whole rig. And it got me very upset. I even put a wall against this and it stopped all of the nougats from going in. It was still clipping a little bit, but then it would bunch up and make a big jam and then it was narrow and it's just problems everywhere. And uh, I don't think you can see very well. 
I got a bunch of lights down here. I should use them. I should use them right now. So, let me show you some of the piping that I got going on here. Yo, bro, I, sw I swing mad pipe, dude. You know what I'm saying, bro. All right, so the conveyor belt system that goes all the way down, it actually, I have that, as you can see, yes, you can you can put concrete. Oh, you can cover up the pipes with uh, concrete blocks. Actually, you're not covering up anything. You're just clipping the two objects together. Hence the reason why your frame rate will then suffer. So, hop down here. Uh, I'm, I'm now stuck. I don't want to be stuck. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so this conveyor belt, the pipe goes out and it uh, we go into a T pipe right there and that pops up to go to this pipe which leads to this one conveyor belt that's shooting everything over and then we have another pipe that goes and connects into this and then connects everything else up we also have a shard holder a shard jammer right here to put make sure that pressure is nice and nice and hot nice and hot and had for these jams right here I might have to put another one around here somewhere now we have this here just so we can turn off these miners just in case, which it's actually helped out a bunch. Let's go ahead and boop. <laughs> so that's good, but things break all the time. And I say we get cracking because I have not tried it since I've bunched up everything. I've put up all of this stuff that's down here. I have this layered so that these nuggets have no reason to fall down below everything has a floor underneath it there's no open areas because i was worried that you know if it's something clips through through the uh, the excavator escalator conveyor escalator conveyor that way it's not I, I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the earth which by the way there are, are plenty of things just sitting down there waiting for me to discover them rediscover them again so i have that turned on let's go ahead and turn this whole thing on realize what we got busted because there's a lot of things that are broken and as you can see, the frame rate is getting a little, it's getting a little much. I, I got, I got problems, bro. So we got, everything is separated here. Little nougats, the big nougats, everything is rock and roll. But here, for some reason, it gets up to the tippy top and the conveyor just stops here until you walk up this ramp. And I guess your proximity kind of kicks it into motion and all of these nuggets just start flooding through here. And then that's when we get a kind of like a nougat explosion and hence the reason why there's tin or iron and gold in this one section here. But talky talky, no more talky. Let's go ahead and light everything up. And don't forget, we got a gold. So now we have a gold conveyor or gold separator. Gems, beautiful. Because I didn't want to have things falling over top of a pipe I want to try and get it as close as we can into this because this doesn't have any water. Like, you can't put water in this, so that's kind of nice. You can put that right there. But this conveyor just kind of shoots stuff out, and every once in a while it pulls a Kobe or a LeBron or whatever uh, your favorite basketball player is, and it, it sinks buckets, is what I'm saying. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. We'll see how this works. All right, what's broken? That's broken. Of course it is. So let's go ahead and we'll fix it. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Rocking and rolling. Looks like we got this jam right here that's got a problem. Now, this is the first time we're messing around with this. We will need to break open some things. There we go. There we go. And I have a conveyor. That is backwards. Okay, okay. Holy crap, this is working the way it's supposed to work now. Because I have everything blocked off. There's nowhere for these nougats to clip into now. Oh, that's wonderful. Now we got nougats coming all over the joint. That's gross, that's gross. Uh, let me rephrase that. We got, we got nougats blasting out of this joint. What's happening over here? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, big guy. Uh, 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 let's grab you. We gotta do this quick. Boom. All right. Okay, okay, we're fine now. We're fine. I just need to get out of here. I'm trapped. <laughs> Woo! 
Oh, this is working. This is work, working wonderfully for the most part, except for everything that's just stopping right there in the center. It's a real bummer. It's a real bummer, man. But this is 100% automated. Now, I do have filters that are rolling on this pipe, but... Things keep on breaking. See now, watch. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go go up, and now the rocks move up, and now we have a little bit of a lag spike, frame rate issue. But here's the problem: is that all these nougats and all these things are all tiny, tiny. They're all tiny. coming out with such force it looks like the machine is urinating gold on top of that bucket it's trying to hit the rim but they forgot to turn the lights on and there's no nightlight for them to you know have any aim assistance going on you know and every once in a while if you get one of these that oh that could also block it block things up but look at how everything is slow right, slow right now because all the objects are trying to do what they need to do Ah. Oh, but look, there's some big nougats. There's some big chunk. We're, see, we're getting some chunking. We're getting some pumpkin chunking. Hold on a second. Oh. So I'm going to have to put some filters down below. Just like to add some extra, some extra flavor to it. Because these machines just keep on breaking. And I'm stuck. I'm trapped again. Get you out. Now the reason why I have this conveyor belt going into there is because just in case we get a double one, and it kind of like alters, goes back and forth between one or two different conveyors. That will always shoot everything towards the top. There we go. In we go. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ha ha. Yours. Let's grab you. Let's put you in there. Oh yeah, nougats galore for days, son. Now it's just hard for me to keep going. Oh God, mistakes have been made. Let's put that there. Okay. I gotta go fix some machines. Will it let me down? It will. All right. Fix you. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop doing that. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and we'll put these giant chunks on here. It's just very, it's very nice to know when you figure something out. It's a good feeling. It's a good, good feeling. The problem, though, is, is that, well, those little tiny nougats are going to cause some problems when I hop back up there. Look at the, the row. The rows and rows of golden good delicious shads excuse me excuse me excuse me rock pardon me pardon me excuse me now i have this wall built up around here because whenever i needed to pickaxe something a lot of times the uh the second nougat will then hit me and then bank will bank shot off my chest even hot bank shots off the chest onto the conveyor belt system but sometimes it would get a little nutty and fly behind the, the miners there and uh, that we'd have some problems. And then I have to go back there and, and, and figure stuff out. Hey, you guys. You guys want to see me break the game? Uh, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad. All right, ready, set, and... Let's get that big chunk in there. Boom, boom. It looks like all the chunks and all the nougats are 100% going into here now. Fantastic. And then get ready for the pain I can't I can't walk there's just so much going on oh <laughs> take your time take your time guys it's gonna be fine you're gonna be wonderful mm -hmm. oh my goodness the hits just keep on coming. Look at all of those nougats just pouring out of that one conveyor, which is probably the main reason why I've got some issues. I'm not sure exactly what uh, what kind of lag these jams cause, but we got a lot of nougats, man. We are just crushing this game right now. <laughs> I'm getting like 10 frames per second, 10 frames? It has to be. Oh, 
so much gold that it's killing the computer. So much, so much gold. My frames are gone. But then I'm fine. For the most part. So we start cooking some stuff up. Oh. Oof. Oof. Alright, so let's go ahead. Now we're fine down here. Because we don't have any tiny little objects going nutty. And we got a couple things that are stuck here in the corners. Nothing too wild. But man, oh man. Oh no! I haven't nailed these things down just yet. <laughs> Alright, it's a little bit better now since we have smelted down some of the rocks. Some of the fine, fine, fine golden rocks. Golden nougats along with some of the iron as well. Once we did that, it's just, it's, it's helped out immensely. Because <laughs> we've been just crushing it all day. Uh, let's put you there. Go all around, my friends. You, your iron. Delicious. Fantastic. And uh, I guess we got to do something with these with these gorgeous, gorgeous gems. So I guess we're just going to have to put these into a bucket and bring them on over. This over here feels a bigger problem. Like this isn't causing this. Uh, was fine on the other side, and then when I hop on over to here, now we got some problems when it comes back to the lag. <laughs> I have a feeling there's probably underneath this one specific uh, block, there's probably like 40 different tiny little nougats that have clipped into the into the block, and now I'm just sitting here and I'm struggling. It's gonna be fine, but we're gonna make ourselves a nice gem, a ruby necklace, maybe a nebula necklace. I don't really sure. And we'll knock it out of the park. And also, I'm feeling like I need to sell some of this stuff. Just a couple of these things. Actually, when I say a couple, I just mean the gems because there are a ton of them. All right, let's grab you. Let's grab you. And we'll take you. That's going to be some iron. Love it. Now, if there was just an easier way. Uh, I, I sound like a, like I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just one of those things where you sit there and you're messing around with alpha and you're like, how comes uh, people give you, like, how comes you have an automated uh, perfect system? Because there is no perfect system. It's impossible. It's impossible to get these things to go directly into a bucket. Unless I have some sort of conveyor belt system that goes up a little bit and then drops everything into, like say if I elevate this just to, like maybe one or two and then I put these blocks down but still, you're gonna have a lot of a lot of spreading out. Like, say, if I have a, a blocks that go down, so that way when these shoot or fire out, it'll bank off of it and then possibly land. We might have to do it. We, it might actually pull Scotty Pippen, and we might, you know, do a bank shot right into the bucket. More experimentation will be needed, my friends. Let's put you over here in the gold pile. I don't know what happened. Bang! Ha ha! <laughs> all right. Well, we got all the gems over here, so we got. We got some things to sell. We got some money to make. And then I have to clean up a bunch of different things. Hold on, I missed one. I missed I missed a gem. Can't miss a gem. We're gonna sell all of these. Okay, so let's see if we have any good prices. Can I get some good prices over here? Huh? Can I get some good prices? Huh? Huh? Uh? Stonks? What's up? Of course not. 83.80 though. It's not bad. Let's see what they got over at this other John. 8380, you say. 8380. Hmm. Yeah, so there's going to be an update coming up in uh, the end of April. So there's going to be a couple new items and hopefully some uh, some different ways for us to try and make some automation and have things go a little smoother. Nothing too crazy, though. But there are new items and there are new things coming to the game. So I'm, I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to it. And let's see if... Our stonks are up over here. Necklace stonks. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm actually going to keep one of these rubies. This big Jones. Don't ask why. Don't ask. I just want to keep one. Just in case I feel like making a ring. Oh, God. And, of course, we're up in the air. There we go. And we're back down. All right. Nice. Nice. Okay, so both stonks are down. 83, 80, that's fine though, because I'm not really expecting a whole lot. Because the gold that we made, the gold that we use are all those little nuggets. But they're all the little nuggets? They're all the little guys? 
And of course the gems are down too. You're you're killing me, Smalls. Three thousand dollars in gems, baby. I like it. Now some of those gems were from prior attempts to try and make a <laughs> make something with like little tiny ones, but a lot of those are little tiny guys and the big guys as well. Three thousand dollars. Take it. Three thousand one hundred seventy-five dollars just from the gems, and that's not even counting this necklace. We gotta make sure we got we gotta see what we got going, crack a lacking, baby. Hold on a second. I'm going to put everything in a bucket here. You. And let me grab you. And in the bucket, a you go. All right, back her up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, let's see what we're going to get for this necklace here. This has the most, the most money for right now anyway. 83.80. Nine grand. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad for actually, like, I didn't count. How many nougats we had? This is just all randomly, randomly generated from the harvester itself into our big pit of gold nook, uh, gold nougats, gold bars. I like it. Another nine grand. That's a ten. That's a ten grand day. That ain't bad at all. I'll take it. Woo we flipped it. We flipped it. Nice. <laughs> See? Straight killing it. Got to back her up. Got to back her up. I knew I was gonna make something. I told you in the last episode that I was going to make something that I got uh, got a little ill. And uh, I said, you know what? I want to uh, take it to the next level. Go take it to the limit, Brian. The limit. All right. Get me out of this truck and in, into the frame war. Awesome. Good. Give me that gem because that's what I want. That's what I want. So, yeah. It's just trial and error of you messing around with it. But it's looking pretty good. It is looking real nice. Big fan of it. It's just the big thing that you got to remember is you have to enclose everything, especially where whatever endpoint of your conveyor belt system, wherever that's going, it has to be enclosed. Otherwise, this is going to go someplace. Now that's just right now until maybe there's an update. I'm not. I'm not quite 100 percent sure. Uh, I don't know the details because I'm not the developer. But I can't wait. Can't wait. So. I've been messing with this for a couple hours, and I think I'm done. <laughs> we got all of our gold, we got all of our gems, and we got it fully automated. So now all I have to do is just kind of sit here and break a couple things apart, fix all these jams up, and man, we are going to be up there smelting to our fr our frameless desire. And I just realized that that roof, I took that flat piece roof. So, oh, 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 there's a little secret. So there's actually a flat roof piece that clips through the center of this in order for these to not clip through the conveyor and then go beneath that and make a bigger uh, bigger chunk because the problem was that underneath this without that it just builds up chunks underneath it and then all of a sudden you have a you have a you have a real big problem on your hands a real big problem real big but if you have any hints tips or tricks let me know in the comment section down below and nothing See if we can perfect it, but I think as of right now the conveyor belt system is perfect the way it is. It's just these chunk, these giant chunks don't go in this banger, and I got everything at 100. percent So uh, pressure's good, turnout's good, money's good, everything's good, folks. The weekend's here and it's upon us. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. So, folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more. You know, and oh my goodness, oh, we're still having problems. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, I shout y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in Hydranir next time. This thing's a mess, but it's done. That's all that matters. So good, so good, so good, so good. Ooh.